We have here a uh, Shimatsu GC2010 uh, GCMS. Uh, in this case, we're using a hydrogen generator to produce the, uh, the gas that, that runs through it. And I'm going to show you how simple uh, this single cob instrument with a range of mass 50 to 700 uh, runs using the software um, that's provided. Um, I'm just going to, at the moment that the pumps are all off, the vacuum system's all off. So, and you can see there that the, uh, the vacuum is in the red reading because obviously the pumps are set up. Very, very simple to set going. You just press the uh, auto start up. Waiting for the carrier gas to flow into it. And then we're going now to... And you can see down here that the, uh, the inlet pressure is rising. Uh, as the hydrogen uh, gas is being uh, taken in, into the system. And as I said, we're waiting for the Caroline to flow gas to get up to the required level. So you can now hear the uh, turbo pump within the uh, mass spectrometer starting up. It sounds like a jet engine winding up. And you can see there, it's now starting to go into the, uh, the green vacuum area of the, uh, of, of, of the software. So as I said, we'll leave it now for a couple of hours and then we'll come along and tune it with the camera. So it's quite easy to, to tune, uh, tune this instrument. I'm going to use the uh, tuning uh, button there. And uh, basically, it tunes on a compound called perfluorotributylamine, uh, which has got a molecular weight of uh, 671. So we start the auto, uh, start the auto tuning, and and please wait, and then it then goes into the auto tuning itself. And basically, what it does, it um, it looks at three masses. It looks at mass 69, which is due to the CF3 of the molecule. Here looks at mass 219, which is the CF3, CF2, CF2, CF2 part of the molecule, and 502, which is the whole molecule, minus the CF3, uh, CF2, CF2. So it then goes through uh, this automatic regime. It ticks and checks, ticks and checks, and resolution adjustment, intensity adjustment, mass calibration. Put things mass spec, and this we never read more than half a mass unit out, really. Um, that's very important, and uh, I'm just going to alter the lenses and things uh, to get the maximum uh, um, response, the maximum intensity for each of these three masses. So once it's um, once it's calibrated, um, then you know that any masses between 50, don't go lower than that, probably 10 and uh, 671. Of what they should be. At the end of the day, uh, when it's complete, you'll get the updated tuning file there, the time, and obviously the increased abundance. From what I can see, unfortunately, you don't see these actually uh, working live unless there's something I've missed in the software, but you do get the updated uh, trace at the end of the tube. It's got uh, two filaments in the system, uh, so when one filament blows, which they invariably do, you can turn over to filament two for say another six months or whatever, depending obviously on usage, um, before uh, you have to replace them both. But again, with our engineers, with a full engineering capacity here, works throughout the country and even into Europe uh, servicing these instruments and getting them fully up to spec. So we are, so and, uh, that's it, there's the latest one now, that's uh, quarter to three in the afternoon, it's the tuning and uh, it's, it's, it's looking quite good. The spectrum, where are we at the moment? Yeah, it's looking good now, um, there's your 69. All these masses here due to the um, um, fragmentation of uh, TB, uh, PFTBA, uh, for example 100 CF2, CF2. But also what you're looking also for, as uh, has been gone up from cold today, uh, we're looking for water, 18 H2O, 
time it's finished uh, by tomorrow morning as it'll be down here and you're also looking for uh, air as well um, once you look for uh, uh, 28 for nitrogen, 32 for nitrogen and 44 for carbon dioxide but yeah that's a good tune and that will be good enough for us to run um, uh, from the uh, decade sample which is the, uh, the next part Right, so we're now going to uh, analyse uh, some decanes uh, by the uh, 2020 system, GCMS system. And um, we're looking at here, we're looking at tetradecane, mass 198, we're looking at pen, uh, pentadecane, mass 212, and hexadecane, uh, mass uh, 226, each differing by an ethylene unit. So, uh, so we're going to acquisition, sample, go to the sample login. Just put a new uh, unique file name. Okay, and then you then press the standby to download all your parameters. Please wait for setting instrument parameters. So the GC is ready, the mass spec ready, the vacuums in the green. Uh, these are the temperatures of the oven, the interface, uh, the inlet, uh, and the uh, interface temperature. Uh, between the uh, GC, so just now waiting for the for the uh, start command. So go to start. And you can see the, um, the system then sets off. Takes file one out. And this is the capacity for 100 samples. you fresh wash cycles which you actually set up on the method. Um, we can teach you here how to write the methods, we can teach you how to develop methods uh, from the structure, from the physical properties of the micro, so you have a much greater understanding of uh, what's, what's behind the uh, GCMS and tell you all about the column supports, uh, etc. and which ones to choose and why to choose, etc. Cycles. So the method is set up where the filament actually doesn't turn on as so electron, uh, electron ionisation. The filament doesn't turn on to one and a half minutes. And that's to allow the big slug of solvent to go through uh, without uh, hitting a hot uh, filament and shortening the lifetime of the filament. So one and a half minutes, you'll see, there's the time there at the moment, 0.48 minutes. Uh, 1.5 minutes, you'll see everything switch on. The, the mass spec switches on and then we can uh, view the three peaks as they come off and, uh, and you can get quite a bit of information just for the first look see looking at your compounds as you run them. All the data that comes off can be uh, qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis, all the methods are in here to do that. And you can see now it's in the uh, run because it's now gone from green, green to blue. So everything's nice and visual, and the uh, software is uh, easy to use. So here comes off now the uh, mass 198, which is the uh, tetradecane, and um, the next one to come off is the pentadecane, mass 212, 14 mass units higher. Uh, due to the extra methylene, CH2 group, and also, as I said, you, you see the, the fragments of 57, 71, 85, uh, the uh, C4H9, C5H11, uh, C6H13, all very uh, like a fingerprint for, for, for the uh, alkanes. The next one to come off will be uh, pentadecane. There's pentadecane, 212, and there's the normal uh, alkane uh, fragmentation pattern.
So as I say, you know, when you're doing a method development, you get some interesting information, even when it's running uh, in, in the live mode. You don't necessarily have to uh, immediately go into the retrospective uh, uh, data analysis page, which is a separate part of the software. So the final one to come off is the hexadecane, mass 226. Again, another methylene on from pentadecane. Two, two, six mass, and there's again the alkane fragmentation.